16 years is a long time to do anything. Coaching the same college football team for that long is almost unheard of. But this is season number 16 for Rich Brooks at Oregon. For the winning team, Brooks has seen good times and bad times with the Ducks. He's the only coach to lead Oregon to back-to-back -back bowl games. And although his overall record is under 500, his teams are 47 and 44 over the last eight seasons. Brooks and the Ducks don't get a lot of national attention. However, they haven't gone unnoticed. This summer, one national publication rated Brooks as one of the top 10 coaches in the country and called his staff the best in the Pac-10. Drew the hands. Here we go. Pass it. Linebacker coach Bill Taro and Brooks go way back. In fact, Taro hired Brooks as an assistant when he was a high school coach down in California. He knew Brooks wouldn't be a high school coach for long. He was ambitious and he wanted to go on and, and uh, he had his goal set and I, you know, I, I knew he was a great coach. Taro was one of the first assistants Brooks hired when he got the job at Oregon. Come on, Troy, stay down, get down, down. That's it. No, Joe Schaffeld was down. already at Oregon on, when Brooks down. arrived in 1977. That's it. He Put says one of the down. things that makes Brooks such a good coach is his competitive nature. He helped the players and coaches remain competitive, and I think uh, I think that's kind of what 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 his standards are, the competitiveness that, that he goes by. <laughs> Steve Greatwood is the only current assistant coach who also played for Brooks. He says Brooks has mellowed a bit over the years and has gotten closer to his players. And Brooks showed a lot of confidence in him when he made that jump from player to coach. He went out of his way to make me feel comfortable. And the one thing he's always done is, is uh, display his confidence in you as a coach. And, uh, you know, Rich will be, he'll be demanding, but he's always been fair. And that's all you can expect from anyone that's your superior. Too high. Too high. He's coming up. Can't do that. Shut Six of the Ducks' assistant coaches have been at Oregon for at least 10 years. They say working for Brooks is a big reason why. He gives everyone a job to do, and they have to take care of it. That's one of the good things about working for him is that you don't have someone looking over your shoulder all the time. When you're given a job to do, you're expected to do it, and he gives you that opportunity. Man, exciting. That was too exciting. 